Even if Vision Park Freak Show Part 2 was there last year, Quasar decided to have the same Freak Show return again. For one day only. This is pretty nice to have because I factory resetted my computer a long time ago. So today, we're going to take a look at all of the rides and attractions that are exclusive to Vision Park Freak Show Part 2. I need to throw off a couple of disclaimers first. We can't take a look at Detriment because that maze is not available for us to experience again. We won't include the Freak Show itself as well because, um, it's a live experience. So without further ado, let the show and this video command. Let's start off with Madhouse. Madhouse is a very angry and evil version of Funhouse. It features spikes, axes, steam that will burn your skin off and even a killer that wants us dead. The slides are taken out of Madhouse, requiring us to do some parkour to get to the top. We can't run in Freak Show Part 2 so this should be fun. The killer is pretty interesting because it does not kill you in a single swing. It damages you and knocks you to the ground and makes you move slowly when you get back up. If you're lucky, you might make it in a life, but in this case, I couldn't. On my second attempt though, I just jumped over the killer and made my way to the obstacle room. That room is replaced by swinging axes that can instant kill you. And if you make it through, you get sent to a challenge with steam and spikes, which both can instantly kill you. Then we jump using these platforms without falling down to the spikes and then balance on the cable to get to the other side of the madhouse. I have to say, madhouse is a pretty cool version. The rock music is also very nice and it almost looks pretty intense from the beginning, especially that flamethrower that tries to scare us when we enter. But yeah, that's all we have to say. Up next is Lady Abstracticus Exceptional Electric Fear Sphere or LAEEFW in short. This is just a normal fear sphere, but for some reason, you can't operate this one. It operates itself. The only thing is that if the ride does end up breaking, staff members can use the regen button to regen the fear sphere. The view is pretty good. And it's pretty big and had to take Rush 360 out. Time to move on to a maze. Cell Zero is an asylum themed maze that features a handful of scares. It starts off with a dead body having a door code that is required to unlock the door to move on. But there's a killer that's just like the one from Madhouse once you're dead as well. This one is my personal favorite maze, simply because there are parts that were shown in the Freak Show musical, like the Power Room for example. But there's also other ones that I really loved. The scares on their own are really satisfying, and I absolutely love how Quasar has managed to nail the theme of this maze. At the end, when we, when we reach outside, we get to see the clown that has pretty much the same face as the jump scare from the Asylum Ghost Train. Speaking of that, nothing has pretty much been changed to the Asylum anyways. Time to move on to the other one, Smiley. Smiley is a Mr. Smiley themed maze and has its own story. Apparently, this one combines parts from the Vision Park Halloween amusement and the Freak Show 1 maze, Freedom, and has its own story and a massive course to navigate. Which they actually do. So the plot goes like this A child's mom let her use her makeup, but then one day dad came home early. Mom tried to stop it, but it was too late. Her dad ended up screaming at the girl and said it, that it was her mother's fault. I ended up jumping to the bed and take a nap. So see you tomorrow. Uh, good morning everybody, I just woken up so let's continue moving. Dad takes her to the Smile Unlimited facility with the car. And this is where we are already being greeted with a scare. And here's where the girls be strapped to the bench, ready to be ejected with the Smile Always vaccine. Flashing light warning for this one. Here's where they get hypnotized. This scream will cycle through and say SMILE. And then a really familiar scream plays out. We gotta come in and check on it and it looks like that this girl that was being sent to the Smile Unlimited facility be strapped to this thing. And I think the pajamas say... Yuki. The scientist said that the test failed and decided to throw it into the dumpster with the others. This is the part where infected people were trying to chase me to the end of the maze. I really don't have much to say other than this one has a really unique story and I actually like it. Moving on, Enigma has a small difference. On the outside, some parts are a bit monochrome-like, but everything else is pretty much the same. Aquatica has replaced the water cannons to shoot this, and it can make this face to us. And Starlight Water actually got me excited with Emphatic Far Cry. And there we have it, 
we revealed all of the rides and attractions exclusive to Vision Park Freak Show Part 2. Maybe if I gonna have enough time, I could do Detriment and Freak Show at the same time. But these ones could definitely, maybe, eventually get their own video. I know that I also got time for Carnival Street, Scatastic Slushies, Boys and Moon, and Dark Waters. But those are not rides or attractions. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this Halloween special video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like this video and hit the subscribe button. This video was recorded before Roblox even went on maintenance on mine. So I had limited access. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and just remember, a challenger does give up.